What's up, guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today, Jose. we've got Jose. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Uh-oh. I'm down for it. We're going to get nice and sophisticated, get some new clothes on. I think we'll probably change up our, our outfit in general here soon. I've seen some of you guys commenting about that, but... Uh... Oh, wow. We, we look great. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. No, no way, I, dude. Popping champagne. Used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> now we're living the high life, baby. I love it. Gentlemen, look at that okay. top hat. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Look at that beard, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness, we probably should have saved. That's all right, though. We are honored to be here. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Uh, Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. Where the ladies at, though? He behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know. Uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Dude, this place is so nice. The marble all over the walls and floors and stuff. Ugh. So this is how the other half lives. This place is massive, dude. I can't get over Dutch with the white gloves, bro. Cowboys, you've arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta questo mese senza dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Saint Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me, like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he, he comes looks here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a confederate major in the war, I mean, a hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> that's kind of that, sad. That is Hector Fellows. Mm. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taking None taken. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's bad All news. All these vulgar people. 
They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I look like a homeless person. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Oh, why is he closing that door? Did he lock it? Can we open this thing up? No. There's gotta be something good in there. Enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. We'd get a lot more done if we didn't drink as much, that's for sure. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing. Unless it's information, of course. Jose, you go find us some place to run. Bill, go make us some new friends. So we've got to go find the mayor. Mingle with the guests in the courtyard. It says. Uh, yes, I would. I would love one. Fantastic, good sir. Thank you. Evening all. Hello? Okay. Not the most targeted group. Can I help you, sir? Well, um, I'm just not quite sure yet. Albert Daniels. Who's Hector? Brent Tilden. This is Mr. Hector Fellows. These guys are in a conversation we can't really interrupt. I heard you went. <laughs> What's up, brother? If that's French culture for you. Isn't this the mayor right here? Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. What? Lemieux, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. But, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me oh. cool off? We're just gonna take this man hostage? Off me. <sighs> Come on, sleep it off. Gonna kick him out. Take care of business. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged <laughs> drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh! Got a little firework display, okay. Hello, that fantastic. I didn't know they had fireworks back then, to be honest. It's kind of cool. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. 
Now, Mr. Oh, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Oh, Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. He did. Find out what. That Cornwall guy never, ever seems to disappear, man. He follows us to every city we've ever been in. I kind of want to chill and enjoy the fireworks, too. But I guess we got to follow this guy. Meanwhile, there are people out there on the streets sleeping with the pigs and stuff, and all these rich folk are in here just sipping champagne, watching fireworks. I guess not a lot's changed. Problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. Huh. So this is not good. Mr. Bronte is being watched. That means that we're probably being watched since we're associated with him. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. I'm not gonna get too close. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jip and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! <sighs> have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Dude, he walked right by us. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. It's about a backhander. Get out of my sight. <sighs> he's going upstairs. I wonder if he's going to go to that locked room. Yep. Retrieve the ledger from the desk. Good thing we got our hands on it, boys. Let's get the heck out of here. I knew there was going to be something important in that room. We saw it earlier, but... Just couldn't get in there yet. Alright. Dutch! We got the intel, brother. Find anything? I think so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think. Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find? We can't stay and enjoy the party at least. Money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank. Maybe. And a stuffed one. That we're could be leave. cool. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Oh, yes. Come on. I'm all about high stakes poker, baby. 
I'll go mess up a few hands. Here comes guns money. back. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. <laughs> if you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. That was a cool mission. I really, like, we didn't have anything go down, but it was just cool. Like, wearing the white gloves, sneaking around, that sort of thing. I, I really enjoyed that. That was fun. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose That's is what we handling need. reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. We got trolleys, we got riverboats, we got banks, we got all kinds of stuff that uh, we're starting to work on. Let's see, see what our next mission's gonna be. Got a couple of different options. So we've got Trelawney over here in St. Denis, investigating the riverboat and wants to meet you at the tailors. We've got a stranger mission, and that's it. All right, so it sounds like we're gonna go hit up Trelawney first. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do all of these or if we're gonna do, like, I feel like it's gonna be pretty, like, if you hit the, the riverboat, they're gonna My run us out of town Arthur, before we can hit the bank. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur. I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing. And I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong oh, to ask you. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am... Ashamed to do so. How long yes. is she gonna keep Mary? Keep using us? Seriously. So now we've got a new mission with Mary over there. I don't even see where she's at. I feel like she's using us 110%, but we'll we'll go help her out. Old girl doesn't want to be with us, but she she wants to ask us for everything under the sun. She's cool though. All right, let's head to Saint Denis. All right, girl. Arthur, use your eyes. Arthur, up here. What have you gotten yourself into you this came. time? Yeah, I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Get out of here. What are y'all looking at? This ain't a peep show. <laughs> Arthur.
mother. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I like I'm it when you call me daddy. Than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than 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 me. Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Let her Be know. Be kind to me. Please. Sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Of course I will. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. <laughs> You know, sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Bound to go. Whoa, no, whoa. I didn't. It's not too but, late now. Well, I don't know. Dude, she's... She's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. All right, here we go. So what do you think he's up? Might be getting back with our ex, I'm boys. I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to rock. <laughs> Who put that sign there? Like, are... who put that there? Let's try this again. I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing. That's the Seriously, who put this thing here? Nag. Standing? He's usually Put that out of the down. road. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. Theodore Eckhart Stables, all right. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. Can't stand there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. What? Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. <laughs> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. 
If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, <laughs> I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. And I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Well, he's a mess. Common as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. All right. We can do that. Keep your distance, or you'll be spot. I can't believe Arthur just smacked that dude. <laughs> just insta smacked. He went around the corner. Yeah, I, I saw it. I'm, I'm here with you. I got eyes. Make sure you keep up. Oh. Hold up, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. <laughs> Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Gotta throw in a jab whenever we can, I guess. What's going on back here? What kind of backwoods, back alley business is this about? Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! What a piece of work this guy is, dude. Just drunk, walking around the streets, insulting the people. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. <laughs> I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. <laughs> All right, that's it. We got to shave. We'll shave after this. <laughs> I can't believe we just got just called out. Left down that alleyway. <laughs> What's he doing? Let's go find out. That's really funny, dude. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Where is he headed? He's taking a very weird route to get there. I guess he is drunk. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even a to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice Mother enough. left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Oh, I got you, girl. He'll probably kill someone. Catch up with the buyer. We just gonna. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. We're gonna buy it from him, or? God damn it! Chase after the wagon. Here we go. Hey, 
Stop that coach! Not my horse, not my problem. Hopefully nobody saw me stealing it. Got some Get Grand Theft Auto up in this beast. I don't know if I should bring out the gun and start shooting or what. I feel like that's probably not the best idea, so we'll just chase him down. This is a pretty good horse, dude. His stamina is solid. The thing is, we can cut corners. Get up on the side. And we're gonna jump to it. Ooh. What the hell? I think the driver's on the other side. Oh nope. Okay. We're good. He's in the back. This is insane. I thought he was up front, but no, he's in the back. He's getting driven around. Okay. We got four horsepower on this thing, boys. This is zero to 60 on it. Just gonna take him out in the middle of the swamps. Make him some gator meat. Where are you taking me? Right here, today. Get out of there. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, it's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Or we could beat him up, but I'll buy it back. I'll be a real one. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. I think our horse is a little bit too far for us to be able to whistle for, so we're just gonna let him Idiot. walk home and we're gonna take this cart back. <laughs> it's a good thing we have money. 100 bucks for, like 100 bucks back then was a lot of money. For a brooch, I feel like we did kind of get ripped off there. We could have beat him up and taken it, but at least this way everybody wins. We didn't make an enemy. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Absolutely, I would love to. Gator? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relour. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of oh, course, come I'm on. Your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman. Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> nice little date what we're going on. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. 
Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. It's like going on a date to the movies, bro. This is cool. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that fun. You guys want to watch this? I'll, I'll watch a couple minutes. I'm Aldridge T. Abington, what can we do with the stranger? The greatest assembler of entertainment. Oh, we can cheer and antagonize. Neil himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as start a not. Are you in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. <laughs> Prepare for the grandest excitement of can we your talk to curiosity. Her? Fire, snakes. This is actually I really cute. I encourage Arthur and his lady. To dabble in all three. If you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. I don't want to like, if we leave, is she going to be insulted? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm down to sit here and wait till the end. So we've got a full-on musical performance coming up here. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Denis. Part of me feels like we should leave. I can't believe Rockstar put this much detail into it, you know what I mean? Like, there's literally a full theater show that you can watch. And I'm pretty sure there's more than one. Because there's theaters Bring in every city. Alright, now we're leaving. Right. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> Playing hard to get. We'll be alright. My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I want it, man, Mary. If I, if anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time, it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to more than anything. I want to, but I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got her trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. That makes me so sad. I just want to see them together. <laughs> Hashtag goals. Dude. They're, they're gonna work out. We're, we're gonna stay hopeful. We're gonna hope for the best. I think they're gonna work out. Now, since it seems like we're gonna be seeing more of her in the future, we gotta make sure that we are, uh, we're looking good at all times. We gotta stay fresh. What's we gotta stay clean. And uh, we're gonna start by going to the barber here. Hello. What's looking up, brother? For a trim? Let's go ahead and cut our hair. Got an idea of what you want? All right, so for hair, we're gonna go, uh... We can part it and stuff, but I, we definitely want to trim it, dude. I think we trim it all the way down. Ah, looking sharper than a tack. So we got that, what kind of style can we do? 
Middle parted, left parted. I kind of like this. We got a little bit of an undercut looking look going on. Makes a man look 10 years younger. Left parted fade. Okay, looks good. Now we're going to work on the, the facial hair here. Trim, full styles, mustache, chin, sideburns. Clean shaven. Flying fork. The, <laughs> the English. Maltese. Burn side. <laughs> Soup saver. The, oh my god, we look like Walter White, bro. <laughs> what? That is insane. What else do we have here? The Josiah. The Lego Mutton, the Penance. Oh, that's dope. That's 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 pretty dope. If we cut it down a little bit, oh, that is disgusting to, to look at. The Presidential, the Spartan. Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like that's actually a really good look Just for him. Name your style. Verdi. Dude, there are so many options. I mean, clean shaven looks good, but I feel like he's a mustache type of guy, man. Should we go with the Walter White look, or should we go with something like this? That's just kind of a dirt. Like it's funny, but it's it's truly a dirty stash. Let's let's do it. That's uh, looks pretty good. I like it. Okay. Should we? Uh, is there anything? No, there's nothing else we can do. We look good. We're good. I like it. Oh my goodness, he looks like a totally new man. Wow. That is that is pretty amazing. I I think it looks good. It, it's it's a little bit of a dirty stash, but I think it looks good. Alright, so we we hit that. Now we're gonna go over to the tailor. And that's also gonna be right next to Trelawney. Which is our next big mission. I'm hoping we can get there before it closes. Nighttime stuff closes at midnight. Shoot. This is like a shopping plaza or something, dude. Still got so much to explore here in the city. Oh gosh. I hear the, the bell ringing. How do we get in there? Clothiers. No. I hear Peter's daughter. Taylor. Where's the front door? There it is. Okay. Hello, come on in. Whew. I was nervous. Alright. Let's browse the catalog, see what we got going on, boys. It's time to get fresh AF. Outfits, hats, coats, shirts, vests, pants, boosts, and accessories. Let's see if we've got some full outfits. The Saint Denis. Not really seeing anything I loved there. We got hats and stuff. Um, I guess, should we start with shirts? I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Is there, yeah, let's view it first. I mean, should we start looking a little bit more Put together? What about this French dress shirt? I don't know. Like, is this really Arthur? Oh, I... now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. I don't know. We've got vests. All right, let's let's pick up a, a shirt first. That's gonna be the most important thing. Collar over shirt. Now, what is your preferred color for this? None of those are bad. Oh, here we go. This this is what we're looking for. Um, I think he looks good in this. I think he looks really good in that. Let's just go with the I black. Have to say, that looks just fantastic on you. Okay. So now we're gonna take a look at uh, at pants. Should we go with some jeans? View all pants. So, what do you think? So we've got Wearing everyday pants, cuffed pants, town pants, fancy pants, <laughs> saddle jeans, jeans, saddle work pants, and work pants. So those padded saddle work pants. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know if I want to go for jeans. What do we have here for everyday pants? In my shop. Buy from me, and you'll never be disappointed. Those aren't bad. Let's go ahead and buy those. Mm. All right. What else do we have here? We've got boots, riding boots, sleeked riding boots, tornado boots, sportsman's boots, wingtip gaiters. What is that? Dude, there are. So, I, I don't even know how to put together a cowboy's outfit. I'm going to be honest. I, I'm a little bit. Deluxe Relentless Boots. I'm a little bit, uh... My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. A little bit out of my comfort zone, but we're gonna go with those. Just because they're expensive, why not? We've got gloves. We've got suspenders, a tie. Hmm... All kinds of spurs and stuff. What does the dress tie look like, I guess? It's not bad. I don't think so, we need a tie, though. Let's get think? a new jacket. Where I think the jacket's out? gonna be the, the final thing we definitely need to get. And maybe a... Maybe a... a hat as well. Duster coat, classic tail, shotgun coat, scout jacket. I guess let's just go in and then let's let's look at all coats. So we've got duster oh, and man, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent. I'm trying to go for for nice and trendy. A lot of these that's a cool look. Yo, that looks dope. The Rambler jacket. I like that. Well pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. And then we're gonna get ourselves a new hat. What kind of hat do we want? I guess we should just Pick one and then we'll go to the all hats section. Oh, that is a local favorite. The Panama looks good. That doesn't look good. Or that, that doesn't look bad, I mean. Lots of options here. Paragon Town Hat. I kind of like the Panama. What do you guys think? This one or this one? I feel like that matches the fit. Better. Well, all right then. Next time old girl sees us, she is gonna be slipping and sliding. Got what we I need. are closing downstairs. Now. If you have anything you'd like to buy, please let me know. You're good, brother. I got everything I need. I'm gonna be out here just. Ladies are gonna be swooning over us now. Oh my goodness, I'm. I'm happy with how that turned out. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, excuse me. We got Mr. Trelawney right here. Oh, it looks so good. A fine night of debauchery, it says. Mm. We're like clean cut, but then the stash is a little dirty. We got the ammo thing. We got the, the cowboy boots. Like We're, we're clean, oh, but we're are, my dear boy. Yes, still about am. business. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? No. I thought I looked good! in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? That suit is not fit for the purpose at hand. Come along, dear boy. Come along. I really like this outfit, though. Like, I'm excited Hello. to... Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. All right. The English's fault is grandfather. Three-piece suit. A bitter and jealous. I'll oh, take it. Thankfully, it's free. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The. We're good. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Dude, I just Those did all this. Gentlemen. What are the odds? Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. 
When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. Okay. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. I can't believe we went to the barber and then went to the tailor, and now we're going to the tailor and then to the barber. I really like our facial hair. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Style up your hair at the bar. Dude, I I like it. You know, I guess... Make him look like a prince, sir. I'll trim the stash a little bit. Does that make you happy? Is that good? There. We're done Very here. Very smart. Come on. Let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation. So we're gonna look like a high roller coming in with a driver and everything. All right, I like this. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you, from Toad, the Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it, Coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. <laughs> You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's the mark? You all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune and... Hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Here we go, boys. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Sounds like we're not gonna need it. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. I'm gonna get rid of the... I had the marker on the map. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur! Champagne! I guess I'm a high roller now. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. 
We playing Hold'em? Can I get a cocktail? Let's go sit at the poker table. Strauss knows the hands will be dealt. Follow his instructions while playing poker. Take a poker. seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Sir Mark. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So don't. You want so, me to fold? How are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the This is kind of cool. Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, then. All of these guys are going all in. Well, Hello, my ladies. And I'm going to be going a heads up against this Blythe dude. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know... I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Yeah, I'm gonna race. All that. This guy's quick to call, all right. I don't even know what we have. I didn't even look at our cards. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. I'm supposed to call, right? Yeah? All right. Um. No, I'm going to call. Let's do it. Interesting. Very cowgirls. As long as there's not a jack under there, then we're good to go. We won. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Guess my luck had Dude, plays Get like an done? idiot. Done. He went all Bust. in on the flop. Well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning, well, I heard, well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense, <sighs> sit your hillbilly ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one, real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I just... Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Pocket Kings? <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Here we go. Feeling Air pretty King. confident. Ooh. Very good, but not good enough. But Shit. we know we're going to get it. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! <laughs> no offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Just took the man's Gentlemen. watch. Please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of My course, man. Sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. 
Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I hope we actually get the watch, I too. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Uh-oh. Very good. Thanks for Next, showing your hand. Negroes. Yeah, I know. Telling us I what know. you got. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. There's another guard in here as well. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. How are we gonna get around this? Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Alright. Here we go. Ooh. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Can we beat him? So we can't, uh... Move and go tell on us? I was gonna loot that guy, but we can't. Where's that watch at? Huh? He had a second one. Oh, shit. Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. Let me loot the pit boss. He's got to have good stuff on him. I guess not. We're going to have to shoot our way out of here, aren't we? I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Oh, Is that a shit. gun shot? It sounded like one. Come on. Oh, hey. shoot. How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon <laughs> off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. Oh, no good cheek, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Uh-oh, is Trelawney in trouble? There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> here we go! He's a little bit of dead eye. That's how we do it. Where are they all coming from? Whoo! Not today, homie. We got more coming down the stairs. There's a third one somewhere. Oh, it didn't go. What's our next move there? You ain't leaving this boat alive. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. I don't know. This ain't my show. You silly me. I clean forgot to bring my gondola. Damn it. We gotta go. Come on. People are just jumping off. Oh. We just bought this three-piece suit, too. But that's all right. 
Now we got a suit to be able to take our old girl on our next date as well. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. A, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. I'm gonna be honest, that escape went way better than I thought. Good stuff, boys. So that was the riverboat. We hit that. We know that we also have, uh, there's like a, a carriage deal, a bunch of stagecoaches, and then also the main city bank. We're looking at each of those. But uh, I think that's a good, good spot to stop for now. 3K on the gang share, $825 to us, I'll tell you. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Drop a like, subscribe, peace out.